Happy New Year everyone! This is my first video for 2023 and uh, I really wish I could say the Happy New Year, you know, with much more excitement um, but uh, I guess this is really for me a bit hard um, because right now I'm not uh, really well and um, I want to keep you all updated and of course um, this is not going to be good news but I'm gonna say it anyway um, last week I had an MRI um, last Tuesday and with that MRI the doctor confirmed that there's new metastasis and it's now spread in my cerebral fluid um, it's the brain fluid that surrounds the brain and um, so it's it's now there um, and that's what causes the headache in the last um, yeah in the last months as you can remember and actually um, because of that because of the confirmation last Tuesday I also had a lumbar puncture last Friday and that's the reason why I'm in bed. I'm I'm still in bed, and uh, right now I walk like a, well better today. I walk like more like a fifty year old, but last uh, Friday Saturday I was just in bed, and if I had to go to the toilet, you know, um, it was really really hard. Uh, yeah, yeah, I I was walking like a ninety year old, almost not moving, you know. Um, and of course the doctor advised, uh, that I just lie down, stay in bed. Um, so yeah, um, this is a really, and well, it's not really unexpected, but we were not thinking that, that far yet, you know, um, because all the, all the CT scans, um, were stable, at least the other metastasized organs, it was still stable. If you can remember, if you look back, uh, I'm complaining about my headache since summer of last year and due to, you know, different factors like bleeding and, um, you know, uh, so many things we thought that could be the reason. And also, um, um, when I get back, I get COVID and after that, I was also um, feeling sickly and uh and then also the headache really um was elevated you know it was uh getting more uh stronger um and that's when i had my mri also last november and back then they said they see something but they can't tell for sure maybe it's just a blood vessel and i also asked the doctor was it already the case by then and she said um no it's it, they think that that's not uh it, no it's not it's it's not the same um and then there's no december um i went to see a neuro doctor and i had a neuro exam and um it also went uh okay i mean he thinks that it's yeah maybe a combination of migraine tension stress you know and he gave me the medicine right that um, makes you uh, relax or your nerves to relax and um, it was kind of also and like and to to try it out um, because at the time at the MRI they don't really see anything um, so it was just maybe um, something to help me with the pain and um, or relax my nerves and hopefully the, the headache will also go away. Um, and although the doctor said um, in most cases, if there's a metastasis on the brain, it could also go to the cerebral fluid. So the brain fluid that surrounds the brain. Um, and if that's the case, then we have to do lumbar puncture. Um, but at that time, it was not yet uh, definite so anyway um, so they gave me that medicine I made a video after that that I felt so terrible um, I was just in bed the whole time the headache did not really 
um, disappear. It got worse and I was just in bed. I'm dizzy and actually uh, I stopped at uh, um, medication. Uh, that's when I made a video. After that, a few days, I was feeling a bit okay. Um, the headache was still there, but I was taking paracetamol because the doctor said, okay, if you're not feeling good with that medicine, you stop it and uh, um, just take paracetamol with like, uh, you know, try to um, lessen it. So one, uh, one paracetamol or uh, one paracetamol in two days or one in three days and until you don't need paracetamol anymore um, because he thinks that um, um, yeah he, well I don't know what he what, I don't know why he was not really uh, concerned at the time I think because it was already uh, Christmas vacation you know he told me that uh, if there's anything I can call somebody will pick up the phone at the hospital but he will be on a holiday for two weeks so we can talk after New Year, um, but he thinks that um, just to continue with then with paracetamol and um, and uh, hopefully it will help. And so that's what I did um, until Christmas. And um, during that time, I was barely, you know, um, really I can barely do anything. Um, but of course, it's Christmas, so I had to. We had to do something for the kids. We were able to have dinner uh, as a family. Um, but then after that, I couldn't have my headache again. So I couldn't do anything anymore. Um, and that continues uh, in the coming days. And December 31, I actually, I was rushed to the hospital emergency. Um, because that's when I said to Tom, I really can't take it anymore. I was living or I was staying in my uh, son's room, Kayo, um, because at that time I can't, uh, I was so sensitive with lights, you know, um, with my phone, I can't use it, with uh, TV, um, I was living in total darkness, as in darkness, and um, it was terrible, I feel so depressed. Uh, I feel so um, helpless and restless, you know. I mean, I can't open my eyes because it feels like the the whole world will go upside down. I feel like um, I, I I was throwing up, and um, it it was uh, it was really really I I can't explain it. It's like my head is really going to explode. Um. So Saturday morning, December thirty one. Uh, I was throwing up, um, I was really crying because of the headache and I said to Tom, I can't take this, we have to go to the hospital and then uh, yeah, we were, we were we went to the hospital and of course it's New Year's Day, uh, there's also a lot of people in the hospital and uh, it's different here by the way, in the Netherlands or in, I don't know, in the US or in the Philippines, you can just go to the emergency room and somebody will... Um, take care of you, you know, here you have to, to call, you have to, you know, and then they will even make an appointment, even if it's an emergency. Um, so yeah, we were there, but then the doctors uh, said also, because this is beyond their, um, uh, you know, like the, the emergency help, because um, somebody, uh, uh, there's already um a specialist who's looking after me and this is bigger than their you know they can handle um they also don't want to do anything test uh, mri or just anything because i'm already on treatment so they are a bit skeptical in what to do so they called avl so anthony van Leeuwenhoek. they tried to reach out to a neurosurgeon they spoke to one and um so the doctor said to come on Monday, January 2, uh, early morning um, to see her um, for, 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 the, for my headache. And uh, we went home with just uh, bringing oxycodone. So that's like the stronger, like kind of a morphine. Um, 
oxycodone and um, yeah and of course uh, paracetamol that's what the doctor said just to get through the weekend because it was uh, yeah it was december 31 it's new year they really can't do anything they also don't want to to put me in the hospital um because they can't do anything so um so that monday january 2 we went to aviel we saw the doctor um, and then right there and then she said we have to do the lumbar puncture um, because you're not looking good this uh, the pain I she asked me what's the number you know one to ten I said it's 11 <laughs> it's really too much and um, uh, I can I can yeah I can barely walk you know uh, I'm so dizzy Thomas holding me the whole time I was in a wheelchair um also because it's just I, I can't walk uh without feeling like i'm gonna fall down um so yeah uh tuesday that was monday january 3 we went back for an mri and that afternoon the doctor called me and told me that um um uh, it's confirmed that they see the metastasis now in the brain fluid and um to i to uh, have a more thorough analysis and also to have a tumor count they have to extract the fluid so a lumbar puncture and um, the result will be two, two to three weeks but we did that last Friday and um, so um, the doctor also mentioned to me that um, we will start now with a double dose of the Gresso so I'm taking now 160 mg of Tagreso um, um, because they also want to analyze and to understand why the major organs, metastasized organs, are still stable, but uh, in the brain, um, it was yeah, uh, the the cancer was able to spread despite the Tagreso, um, although they have an explanation for it and she said that um, uh, the brain has its own cluster in our body you know it's a special area there and sometimes uh, the medicine cannot really penetrate in that area as much as the body so maybe that's the reason why it's um, it's weak when uh, yeah when it's a bit weaker you know the the effect on it uh, in the brain so that's why they thought maybe for now we double dose at Agresso um, and then let's wait for the result of the lumbar puncture in two to three weeks. Um, maybe they will give me, uh, maybe I have to continue with double dose at Agresso or like a sister or a brother of the Agresso. You know, there's a different uh, medicines also. Um, and of course, the doctor said the other options will be really harsh and that would be chemo and immune therapy but um they are confident that i don't have to do that for now and um in terms of my headache um since um i last week by the way when uh, when i went to see her she also gave me uh steroids um listen so um so this is the medicine and this actually needs um i have to take it in a full stomach and with this medicine uh it actually helped uh, i have more energy um uh the headache is still there but um uh, re really light um just some flashes here and there sometimes but most of the time it's really it's really w okay um i'm also the only thing is i'm struggling to sleep with this one because yeah it makes you more active it has more energy gives you more energy um but that's fine uh because the doctor said after two weeks maybe we will lessen the dose just for now to also help with uh yeah with my headache and i, I also just had a lumbar puncture and although the doctor said that after the lumbar puncture normally the headache will also get less um when they extracted the fluid they also told me that um there's a i i, I had a really high pressure 
my brain uh, normally it's 20 and mine was 27 so she expects that after the puncture i will feel way better um uh yeah with my headache so yeah that was that was it um i tried to put everything together but um yeah um i wanted to make a video way sooner by the way and i just don't have the energy and right now i'm doing it in my bed um yeah because this is yeah the only way i can do it and i have a little bit of energy to do it um but yeah i'm um i'm a bit uh to be honest this is a bit um it really got into me this time um that's also maybe the reason why i'm um uh feeling really uh sad about it and yeah because i'm really not expecting uh you know something like this um or maybe not now <laughs> because the scans are, do, are are still okay. Um, and I think I'm most afraid of the brain part um, because that, you know, brain is very delicate, very sensitive. And if it's the, the part that is now um, having problems, um, it's kind of unpredictable what's gonna happen, right? So, well, let's hope for the best. I am... Uh, praying that uh, things will be okay and i can uh, still go back to uh, how i used to be and um that this will be yeah it's, it's nice that now it's uh, being detected and i'm under a uh, new treatment so we're doing new treatment now but uh or additional treatment um and i hope it will all go well um so I'll just keep my my faith, you know, and hope that uh, things will be okay um, with a lot of prayers, you know, and I would really appreciate all the prayers out there, prayer warriors to uh, also uh, help me in these difficult times. And um, I will keep you posted uh, for a further update. Tomorrow I will have... My regular routine CT scan so I don't know what would be the what would be the result but I will make another video for that and um, and yeah if you have any questions um, you can always uh, send me a message and um, yeah I hope uh, yeah I hope I will be uh, I will be able to do a new video again soon so thank you guys for watching thank you for um, staying with me in this journey and i hope to uh, see you again soon bye bye